Here are the directions for the two map assignments. So the first one, the map in class, which would be the do now. We simply want to be able to look at this map here of Europe, and we also have this map of Asia. A couple of items you want to take note of as you're looking at this one here. Uh, early German land occupation. So when we see these lines going in this direction, I'm trying to show you the area that Germany winds up taking over. So here we see Germany kind of in the center. So Germany's empire definitely grows and uh, they're using the policy of Lebensraum. They need living space for the German people. So that right there is something you, you want to be able to take note of. We're also looking at the date that France falls. Now keep in mind, France, there is something called the Vichy France, and that is the section of France that was collaborating with Nazi Germany. So when you see this particular phrase, I want you to think of uh, you know, a government that's working collaboration with the Nazis. So if you looked up a map of uh, in Google, you know, France, World War II map, you might see it divided in two, and you would see two sections there. Okay, let's see. What else? Normandy invasion. You want to take note of Normandy. Treat this like a definition. And the Normandy invasion is taking place right here. So you have to be able to identify certain areas. So these numbers, one, two, three, and four is what they're showing you. So here we see three. Two is a reference to this section here, and then one is just trying to show you the area that's controlled. The Soviet Union, not a concern. Number four, why? Uh, this is looking at uh, you know the German, German and Russian government. Um, they did come to an agreement with regard to Poland, so initially they're not concerned. But remember, Hitler goes back and on his word and decides that he is going to embark on an invasion of, uh, of Russia. So this is looking at the uh, at, uh, Japan, primarily the United States war with Japan here. So one, two, three through six is showing you one island at a time. This is what separates the war in Asia from the war in Europe. It's this geography, all of these little islands and all of these little islands are going to matter with the big one right here with Japan, which is going to raise the question, should the United States invade Japan? The U.S. is trying to use what's known as an unconditional surrender, which means they want to be able to go to the treaty negotiations, and they want to be able to say, here's the treaty, Japan. You are going to accept it, and there's nothing you can say. There are no conditions, which is why the language right there, unconditional surrender, uh, that particular section there. You may also get this assignment here for homework. Uh, with this particular assignment, you see one side with uh, Europe and then the other side looking at the war with Asia. The map to the left shows German territory occupied by Germany during World War II. As Hitler, where would you deploy your troops? So this is just a scenario-based question. Deploy the troops on the map using the labels M1 through 6. So what I want you to do here is, you know, you're playing the role of Germany and you want to put M1, M2, you know, maybe M3, where would you deploy your military troops? Uh, if we were in class, I'd probably have you come up to the board and, you know, place your M1 through 6. And then wherever you place them, I will then probably get somebody to play the role of the Allied side and determine where would they attack, where would they go first, second, third, and fourth. So that kind of would be uh, one of the tasks that I would have here. Let's see, this one, compare your troop deployment to the map to the left. Did you deploy any troops in Africa? So it's asking you that particular question. Why? Because Africa is going to play a key role in acting as a uh, staging ground for uh, the invasion into Europe. So if they could control this area first, they would then pretty much move in this direction, which is the focus for this particular item here. Looking at the images, we see some dates here. Here we see some images of the Normandy invasion. Here you see an image of uh, you know, the successful Normandy invasion where they're starting to bring materials onto the beach. That'll be addressed in the later screencast. For this one, the homework assignment is similar to the uh, one with Europe. Uh, this one, you are looking at Japan and you are going to deploy your troops. Same thing, M1 through M6. Where would you deploy them on the map? So you need to figure out where you're going to devote. Now keep in mind this is a little different from Europe because you have a lot more water to contend with uh, with regard to the uh, ocean and all of these various islands. So that's kind of what the task is for 
this one using the maps, you're going to deploy your troops using M1 through 6, and then you're going to have to be able to uh, defend your, your argument. And each of these particular items will play a key role in the battles PowerPoint and screencast that will be addressed later on. That's it for the directions.